viewers hope you're all well uh, and safe and your families are safe as well uh, we just want to thank those that are working during this period of lockdown uh, for keeping our country safe we salute you and uh, for those that are at home uh, just be safe and uh, obviously I know it's becoming frustrating to be locked up in your house uh, but let's make the most of it uh, we get into our tackle bags we check what we need uh, so when we are of lockdown we get to the stores we get our stuff and uh, apart from that we try to improve on our tracers our knots and uh, just to better ourselves in fishing um, today I'm just going to show you a quick uh, bite trace uh, I know there's many ways to make a bite trace guys use different knots uh, but I'm going to show you something that's simple and that works for me and it's very effective uh, the knot that I use to join my uh, line this is my line that I use to join onto my steel wire or oh, sorry my carbon coated wire uh, it's actually a simple knot that I use uh, I know some of the guys put it, them together and then they try to make the figure of eight and then it starts to kink and stuff like that but I'm just going to show you quickly how I do this so I'm using a 120 pound uh, fish make carbon coated uh, stainless steel wire uh, does it here 120 pound uh, you can go some guys like to go thicker some guys like to go lighter depends what you're targeting uh, but I'm just using 120 pound now that's what I found in my box so just for demonstration purposes I'm going to use 120 pound uh, and some guys like to make the traces different lengths so we're going to use about a uh, say 400 400 to half a meter and uh, my hook I'm using is a 70 tuna circle 70 tuna circle uh, you can use this for your hammerhead sharks uh, for your smaller greys even for targeting your edibles as well so I'm sure everybody's aware of how to snell a hook so there's the hook it's a circle hook so we're going to complete the circle so if we go from the underneath on the top smash it there you can go one two three four five six seven i like seven lucky number seven okay snout so if you've seen the previous videos of ray thompson he uses a lighter he just burns it so it holds together but uh, for this purpose we're not going to do that and if you see there's a circle there's a circle so this is basically our 7 tuna circle on a 120 pound uh, carbon coated steel now we're going to use our and now I'm going to join it to my maxima 0.77 line so depending how long you want to make your trace, let's go another half a meter here. I'm going to use a half a meter here. Right. Now, this is what I do. I take my carbon coated, and I get into a circle, and I go one, two, and I pull it. Now if you notice, as I pull this, it's going to form an 8. There's the 8 there. That's the 8. Alright. Which makes it easier for me to lock. So I take my line. My maximum 0.77. I insert it through. The best way, let's hold it like this here. If you look at it like this here. If you hold it like that there, it can hold water. If you hold it the other way, it's not going to hold no water. So the way like a dish or like a cup it holds water you push your 0.77 line through one through this side you got your line through lock it a bit now you take your line and you make your figure of it one two three Untangle it. Wet your knot a bit. Lock your line. Pull your line. Your hook and your nylon. 
you pull it and now it's locked you've got a neat knot that's not going to kink that's not going to be all over the show nice and straight that's what we're looking for and the more you pull this knot the more it'll lock the more you pull it the more it'll lock here's my pliers and this hook it's nice and locked trim your tag ends out out you got a neat little knot that's not going to kink and that's what you're looking for when you're making your trace you don't want your coated nylon to kink and then you take your I've got a 10 no actually not a one a size one not a 10 a size one swivel power swivel Size one power swivel, figure of eight, figure of eight, wait it, lock it. And that's your bite trace. your bite trace obviously this one's quite long but it's up to you depending on the conditions that's uh, another Daiwa fan out there Kaden that's my son Kaden with his Daiwa kit as well he likes to follow his dad everywhere so an up and coming angler hello Kaden yeah that's basically it and this is how it's gonna move it's gonna set nicely Caught. Well, next one I'll show you how we bait this up. So guys, be safe out there during this lockdown period. Uh, we wish you and your family well. And uh, we'll see you all on the beach sometime.